is Windows 10 for foreign hack worth? We'll find out. Hey guys, Anmol here for WM Power User, and we have today is the hacked Nokia 520 which uh, with Windows Phone 10, and we have just installed it on our spare 520 without <laughs> actually breaking it, and we are just going to show how Windows 10 works on low and unsupported device. So let's get started. The first thing you will notice with Windows 10 is the new start screen. The start screen has been ramped up to a new uh, to a new height with uh, you can set a new background image to all to full start screen and you are not going to see the black and white um, white black and white themes which which was available on the previous versions the tiles are however translucent and not transparent but microsoft promised that it will bring transparent live tiles in the next builds so we will see that the next thing we will notice is when you swipe you have the uh, background image on the back of the app list too uh, this is pretty good uh, compared to the previous black and white backgrounds only and one thing else you will notice here is uh, Microsoft created a category for recently installed apps. You can see what apps you uh, recently installed and you just can tap here to clear them. And the next thing uh, we will notice on the start screen itself is the new tile sizes for Cortana. You will get a large uh, tile size as available on Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. Uh, the large uh, li life tile is uh, uh, double size compared to the uh, uh, tile size we get on Windows Phone 8.1 currently. The another tile size you will notice here is the People's Hub tile, uh, which is rectangular tile. These are the new tiles introduced by Microsoft in Windows 10. We will see how devs uh, integrate these tiles in their apps third party apps the next thing after uh, moving from the start screen is the new notification center we have a expand option here in the notification center which shows uh, three rows instead of one so you have actually more uh, toggles in the notification center uh, on windows 10 also we have new uh, option to expand the notification so you can see the full notification earlier it was not possible in windows 8 8.1 or windows 8 also we have the new uh, lie sorry also we have the new uh, actionable notifications for text uh, text notification which uh, i guess will come to other apps also by the time windows 10 get released publicly and uh, the actionable notification center will allow you to uh, reply to a text or a tweet or a message on whatsapp without even opening the app so that will be a pretty nice feature the next uh, thing we will uh, see uh, moving forward is the settings microsoft has uh, introduced the new settings uh, which categorize uh, which categorize uh, everything everything into uh, one uh, more one category and this is pretty good for everyone uh, so you don't need to scroll up and down over uh, so many notifications this is actually taken from the windows 10 build on pc and looks almost the same like we have the new system uh, in the system we have all the uh, settings for display notification cortana speech storage sense driving mode etc uh, the next thing you see is personalization here we have background so that uh, wait a minute yeah so that we can set the background image for the uh, start screen so that's pretty nice and other 
other settings are like that uh, we have the accounts time and language for date time and region ease of access privacy update and recovery yeah one thing uh, to be noticed here is microsoft has introduced some windows 10 settings and some are windows uh, 8 settings uh, screen so it it will be good if microsoft uh, completely introduce the new windows 10 uh, settings for every uh, particular category so after moving from the uh, settings we have a we have the new calculator app on windows 10 the calculator app is pretty same to the windows 10 on pc and you can see here you can uh, use the cal calculator app for uh, almost calculating everything like you have the standard sign a standard scientific and programmer calculator in calculator mode and after that you have a converter for converting everything volume length weight temperature energy area etc so it is pretty good and here if, if you can see here a small toggle so that you can see the history what you have calculated and you can delete it also so after moving from the calculator app the new thing is uh, we have is the cortana uh, microsoft introduced a new interface for cortana 2 in windows 10 the new interface is actually white instead of black and you can see more uh, box like thing uh, below sorry for this and also we have a new hamburger menu on the top you must be fam familiar with this menu if you are using windows 10 on your pc too so cortana is pretty much same uh, expect for except for the ui and after that we have the new file explorer this app actually replaces the files app which was currently available as a file manager by microsoft you can just go to this device and see all the phone storage and you can go to D drive to see what you have on the memory card so this is basically a file manager with all the functionality I wish Microsoft adds more functionality to this in the next coming builds so uh, after moving from uh, the files app we will get to the sound recorder this is a new app introduced by Microsoft for Windows 10 so uh, this app basically does what uh, is to rec record the sound and nothing much the ui is simple you tap on the uh, mic here and it will start recording so this app is uh, pretty uh, simple and clean but of course it is quite useful for windows phone and after that we have the windows feedback of course this app was um, available on windows 10 if you are using windows 10 on pc uh, you can directly send uh, you can directly send feedback to microsoft using this app and this app takes a lot of time in opening so you have all the categories and it will load you can send feedback or add a new feedback to it so this app this app is actually for sending uh, feedback to the Microsoft uh, team so that they can improve on uh, what you are suggesting. So the next thing we move on is the photos app for uh, Windows 10. Microsoft has all uh, completely changed the new, uh, UI of the photos app and the new UI has the collection menu which shows all the photos by date uh, they are clicked and you have an option here to select and do multiple actions for the photos and here we have a hamburger menu for all the uh, settings but unfortunately microsoft is yet to work on these things so we can't see them right now uh, what we can see is a uh, collection menu only for photos app so that's not good for now but hope it comes soon uh, next thing after the photos app is the new uh, dialer and phone setting here we have the uh, calls and his uh, speed dial but uh, you can't swipe to change them you have to tap on the top to change the uh, change uh, speed dial or history and we have a new ui for uh, dialer and the buttons are small you can see that so that's something good looks uh, interesting though and the next thing we i am going to show you is the t 
the uh, keyboard of the windows 10 we have here is the new keyboard for windows 10 which has a uh, small microphone here which is for its speech to te uh, speech to text capability and what we have here is the small joystick for navigating your uh, cursor uh, af after that sorry after that we have the new uh, store actually it's not new it is uh, same as we had on windows uh, windows 8 and 8.1 actually so let's get back from the store so finally uh, this was the uh, major changes we have on windows 10 for phones and you can see it lags uh, somewhere have a quite bug the most annoying bug we have on windows 10 is the red screen or whatever ascent color you have that color screen when you switch between the apps so actually microsoft is uh, working on um, windows 10 and we will see more stable builds uh, in coming months we uh, from my side i don't recommend you to install windows 10 by hack or directly on your primary phone it may uh, it may cause problems to you like uh, the uh, phone may uh, switch off uh, in accidentally uh, and something like that you may lo lose your data so i recommend if you have a spare phone do install and try out it's a new uh, all OS and I am sure you are gonna enjoy it of course if you have a st uh, spare phone we don't recommend you to install it on a, your primary phone so and do install Windows 10 if you have a spare phone and let us know how, what you think about uh, the new OS in the comment section and also if you need uh, help on the hack do let us know but uh, we can give you a small warning type thing that we are not going to be responsible for all the damage if you do in your phone uh, do it at your own risk so i am anwar from wm power user signing out i hope to see you in my next video